Hello everyone, welcome to another Grand League 2023 summer match. Joining me today is Ravencrow. Hello. And we've got a match between Metal Man and Komori. Uh, Metal Man who's already out and Komori having two wins already. This basically is a very uh, important match only for uh, Komori who can already qualify for the semi-final by getting a 2-0 win. Going to bridge the gap, Metal Man going very budget to power us to gun us in a sapper, while Komori is a bit more mixed and definitely more poison heavy with two scouts. But there is one thing I don't get about Komori's lineup for this first map, and that's the medic. Because um, um, yeah. I don't think the medic's going to be much use on this kind of map. I feel like. I mean, maybe for healing. Ball. Yeah, I feel like the medic is the guy that always jumps at the first opportunity into the pit to body block someone and uh, have like a healing entity down below. If one of your picks get thrown down there, he can heal them. Otherwise, yeah, he's just a healing factor and maybe he can get some crates to also deal damage, but... Yeah, uh, I think Metal Man's having trouble with his controller. Really? Well, like training went. Oh, yeah. never mind. Yeah, yeah. Preparing went without a hitch, so. And there you go. Straight up going for the air burst in the box that cannot be jumped into. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, good start. Let's see that shot. You can see the. Uh... Watch out for the blimp. The blimp. Yeah, this seems like a full power shot and oh, a bit overshot, but we'll get oh, just sliding away. That opens up the opportunity for um, for Metal Man to just get the medic down you know, while he's at it. Uh, let's see what Komori's up to. He's still going to try it. Yep, second try. Looks out fine, and now he's a gunner in a box with more than enough mortars to protect this position. Slightly angles it up, feels like a bit too much. Let's see if that will Me. work out. I wouldn't know because I'm shit with gunners. <laughs> that kind of worked. Gets 37 damage on him. No, Metal Man, not even bothering with a skip on this one, just uses a jetpack to get him. So you can clearly see the stretch from, from Metal Man here, just going for the Everest first, and then see what comes next. Do the clear big damage on the purple pigs. Yeah, and this will be a better one. Definitely above definitely, 40. Uh, yeah. The initial hit was 23, and then I saw a 10 and an 8, I think. Or 11 and an 8. An 8. And in here comes the medic not going for the heal. It would be... It would take a while to get there. Instead taking cover here. Behind the... Box. And that's a difficult shot, and... Looks a bit too far to the left. Corrects it, and... Uh, I think this might end up on the walls. Oh, never mind. Oh my god, he gets a 70. Due to the, seven uh, extra damage on the other pig. Yeah, <laughs> the, the walls instantly catching that one front pallet, making it a 70. Very nice shot there, getting him out of the box, getting him out of the cover. Now Metal Man needs to catch up with the damage, and that looks very good. Bang on, 50. So far, guy is not lighting up, dealing good damage. Yeah, now it's the power. Kind of wasting 10 seconds just thinking about stuff. Going for a simple bazooka shot. Not invading. Let's see. It's a nice double hit double there. Hit. 47 damage in total. 
Yeah, really good start from Kamari. Metal Man cannot let up with his damage on his side. I'm going by my original prediction from the first stage. It's going to be Kamori and Mephisto in the final. Uh, very this well, it could be. This, this tournament. Um, I'm not quite sure who has qualified directly for the semifinals yet. And another perfect shot into the box. You rarely get to see the this precision. Um, Funnily enough, the last match we had on Bridge the Gap, I think, was something similar. The guys just nailing all their shots, but this really is a rare occasion. Occasion. Yeah, uh, I like when I was it's like when I was watching the final of the uh, the main league uh, when Fox was hitting all all their shots on you. <laughs> when yeah. did he learn how to use the the heavy weapons? <laughs> Yeah, the eat very weird and slightly a missed shot there from Kromori. Funny in love with the sniper, which is more of a safe weapon compared to the other guys, uh, the other weapons. Mm. It does judder a lot though when you when you keep it in scope a long time. Yeah, it does, it does. It makes sense to kind of buzz uh, uh, get out of the skill for for a short time. Keep it steady. Yeah, first pig in the middle. Yeah, Scout gets thrown down here and has a clean line of sight here, but goes for the poison, which could work, but could also backfire. It's going to need to be a full power throw, I think. Yeah, Ready full power throw, and I think he should adjust that angle slightly only, but doesn't get it. Ooh. Okay, metal man. Pulling ahead slightly, not missing his beat, and uh, this could actually be a kill. He executed well enough. That's a bit too short for that. Nothing. No damage at all. Okay. Well, that's it for precision for now. <laughs> um, yeah, everyone's hitting the shots. Three shots missed in a row. Yeah. Now trying to get another shot in the box. It seemed full power, so it pretty much cannot hit. Yeah, but this looks like a very nice full power shot. Ah, never mind. He goes for this one again. And again full power, which will overshoot slightly, but detonates it in time. We got 28 damage. Yeah, now the heal's coming into play. But it needs to be careful though, if he gets dropped down below, he only has this scout to heal and he's pretty much an open target. Let's see, that could work. Yeah, very good. Gets a 19 extra 60 damage overall. Mm. Oh, yeah, that might be, yeah, that seems more fitting. Power-wise, although, yeah. He's, the guys seem to have figured it out. This will be another good shot. 40 at least. It does take some training to get to know all these um, power requirements to get a hit. So, good up there. That's a high angle, huh? Is he's trying to avoid the uh, the border, uh, the uh, the wall, but doesn't quite get it. A bit overshot.
Okay, focus is not on the medic, oddly enough. Just another scout. Which, to be fair, if they are pulled down there, they are not that useful if they cannot get a line of sight for their sniper rifle. However, the jetpacks have already dropped in. So, that might be a way to get on the other side. You know, when he jumped there, I was just I was just waiting for the uh, the fall damage to just screw him over. Yeah. And then I realised that it's not really... It's, like, it's really distant jumps that it actually does it on this game. Yeah, you really get to hurt yourself with the... Oh my god, that slide takes a long time. Gets the poison off in time, but yes, just the, the mm, angle. Oh, but, yep. But the bounce back, maybe? Nope. Just <laughs> takes it around in the circle here. And... Not quite what uh, Kumori had imagined, I guess. Hmm, and again, a short one. It, it does play tr tricks on you, like, it does seem like he's right in front of you, but that um, slope is pretty, pretty long, if you think about it. Like, if you look at the map, it's not like a steep yeah. drop, it's just more This will be a, a skip turn if he poisons that para. Indeed. Okay, that's good kill score. I'm going for the, not going for the para, then. Hmm. Tries to get Just up there. A... Nope. Hmm. Oh, Perry was dead. That's why. Never yeah. mind. I I didn't quite pay get get the number, but maybe he was on fifteen plus something. So back to dealing the damage. It seems. Looks like a good shot. It's well at least 18 damage. It's it's small numbers, but they will add up in the end. Yeah, and you can see Komori <laughs> trying to get in there to gain additional cover. Aiming for that shot in the box. Another full power shot, but now the angle has been slightly adjusted. Doesn't quite get it again. However, I do feel like the walls will be breaking down after a while. They have been taking some damage. And Metalman goes for the box again. A bit short this time, though. I mean, genuine. This is why I don't like heavy weapon maps, because I'm not not being good with them. Don't yeah. find this entertaining. It does take Just training. The backwards and forwards with the. It does take time and training, and also a bit of luck. And let's see. That blimp is a tiny bit in the way, but overall, does get the gunner down there. Next to two crates, which could deal additional damage to that guy. Yep. Uh, I imagine this is... He's gonna try and get that scout back down there. Could be, could be. That's a dangerous position. It has, like, I feel like the only uh, out-of-bounds kill area. If you just get him into the uh, back of that, I'm gonna, yeah. Let's see if he, he will actually get it. Let's see that slide. Not a big slide. Twenty eight damage. Yeah, but there is an area in that corner that you cannot get back onto the map. Kunomori now deciding to get the airburst box on his side. 
you can only access with a jetpack. Let's see. Goes for the gunner down below. That's a tough shot, but gets it. Gets the crates. So the, excess, the excess damage from the crate. Yeah. That's probably the reason for the near 50, though. Up to 58, 48 damage, and uh, it's going to be a back and forth now. They're not. We haven't seen any close range combat at all so far. It feels like only like a jetpack, and that's a nice shot there. Would he get the extra 20? Direct hit and the extra 20, yeah. Nice 70 on the medic, though. Yeah, you could call it a perfect mortar. It's like everything you could ask for. So, Minuteman definitely holding his own, not backing down. It could make things difficult for Kumari to directly qualify for the semi-finals. Well, we're gonna go for a... It looks like he's going for a, a double here. This will be an interesting attempt. Oh, that's a tough one. He needs to aim to the right of the front pig, so he can use that curve to, to reach the gunner, but... Yeah, that's too far to the left there. Mm, nearly. Bounces off too much. If you, if... Was that my, uh, the double I got against uh, oh, Bobby on? Oh, no. Ooh. Well, that's why you take your time with these walls. Uh, they really can't screw you over. Not just with the jetpacks, also like the Empress itself can easily detonate if you get too close to the walls, to the back wall. Yeah. Kumori now looking for a future skip. He has a jetpack and the poison here. Just needs an additional head jump and that jetpack, but probably will take some time to get there. Since he's getting his, his scout. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not quite sure who was the uh, more healthy scout. One of them is pretty broken down. That's got 39, I think, so that's why they... That's, I mean, to be fair, yeah. It had, less, it had less than 50, I remember that much. Definitely. That's why we got the kill there, and... Well, Komori only stuck with a single scout. That part is still, oh, they're still pretty healthy. Like, all of the guys in the uh, top corners have, have held up pretty well. So I adjusted the uh, angle a bit again, but went full power again, too. And this time got closer, but not close enough. And Above the wall. Yeah, that's one less cover you can work with. Right. The medic really, yeah, you have to say, like, the medic didn't really play a big role in this. Yet I feel like a single heal and gets another bang on 50. Doesn't quite get the extra pellet. It would have helped immensely right now. I mean, three elf on. Th I mean, three elf on this map. He's not getting to anybody. <laughs> yeah, it would take some time. I think I would actually go for somebody since this guy's gonna perish most definitely anyway. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say ooh. get get a, a th on somebody because uh, this will even uh, put him into head jumping. Uh. Gets a train yep. on this guy and. Yeah, he's left for dead now. He will take poison and damage on his turn right now, and he can yep. only perish. So, yeah, this guy, again, also very healthy. So that's all his jetpacks, kind of. And takes the shot. Very nice there. Gets the extra damage as well. Mm-hmm. 48 points of damage there. I'm quite sure why we are being shown this guy again. <laughs> like, he didn't take any damage in this turn. That's, that's kind of odd. But, uh, yeah, this um, aura will most definitely make sure that skip turn will never come into play. 
Since we can also hit, just hit the scout right next to the gunner. It shouldn't be an issue. Oh no. Okay, yeah, that's it for the turn. He will not have enough time to do anything else. Gets the body block and actually detonates another jetpack. To be fair, that's not a bad call. Hmm. Oh yeah, this guy still has two jetpacks. He must have picked up from uh, the other side of this crater or ravine. Whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, he was. Yeah, call it a ravine. <laughs> he was thinking about going for a grenade launch. They're possibly thinking of a poison skip in the future, but well, this guy's out of poison, so not much use for that anymore. So yeah, this seems to get the medic. I yeah, think. This, this seems like a simple one. Get the medic, but with a grenade launcher, that nothing's simple. It gets him in the end. So, very up close, these guys. I think Komori has a slight advantage with the poisoning of the... Uh, of the sapper. And he also has, like, a uh, definite position advantage. The gunner and his power are still in these boxes, so they're... Taken, I've taken good cover and yeah, this seems like a full power shot to me and gets him right on. Flip sliding away. Yeah, getting down oh, to got seven. got a parrot on ten health, gun on seven. Yeah, and the sapper is 55 and poison, so really looking grim for Metal Man right now. Mm. Unless he can pull off like it's 70 here, it's not a lot. Oh, and this... Oof. Just doesn't quite get it. And the cover again pays off for him. And now, Komori, we will just look for that Sapper getting everybody into kill range. Doesn't quite get him. But with the extra pellets, puts him down to 40. Making sure this scout is gone. Yeah. However, I do think that's pretty much it. The, if you think about the um, the power in the box as well, he he also has uh, all of that. It's jetpacks left, so he could basically end this game in, in just a single turn if he has enough time for it. Yeah. Uh, ooh, bad shot with a bazooka there. Indeed, a bad shot. Well, oh. I was going to say, he's not got much. <laughs> the sapper's not got much to help. Yeah, there's not really anything the sapper can do here. Doesn't get the hit into the box. And yeah, I think, yeah, come on, we will just play out his advantage of yeah, having the cover here. Yeah, and you can see the half bar now as well. Telling a definite story about this situation. And this is the last mortar strike as well from the gunner. Oh. And it hits the. Okay. Well. If that had hit, if that had hit the, uh, the gunner. Oh! Oh. <laughs> oh my, okay. Will he slide down, actually? He does. Okay, that's definitely not what Komori had in mind there. Um, but he didn't even need to, like, forcefully get out because Metal Man doesn't have any tools to, to get that crate. Like, this para is out of jetpacks. The gunner doesn't have any. So just goes for a simple shot there. Okay. 
And connects at least 32 damage. So, yeah, but this guy's still bunkering yeah, very in. Very healthy. Which makes sense. You don't want to risk it right now. He has to, if it comes down to it, he has the tools to take care of everybody. But uh, he can just chill. Uh, sure, miss another shot. Why not? Oh, just not quite the right direction. The power was good there. Gunner taking care of business down here. Guess we'll never know what's in that limp crate. Six times roller grenades are fine though. Didn't really catch on to that. Him bunkering those. thought he'd uh, undershot that then. Yeah, it looked a bit like it. I was wondering why he isn't just using the uh, the cattle prod. That would have been more than enough. And now don't screw up this jetpack as well. Take your time. Now, all Metal Man can basically do if uh, Kamari gets the kill here is um, just having one turn. Maybe a 110 shrapnel will help. Who knows? Gets the para. If this, like, if he does actually get the 110 shrapnel now, yeah, with his sapper on 10 health, that would be insane. He knows it, and he he he's just going for it. He could also use like a 70, and putting him into the minefield would be enough. But. Um... Yeah, let's let's just see what will happen here. Lines it up. Seems good, but that's a bit short. Yeah. So long wind up for no results, sadly. So come on, show us what's in the box. Is it like actually an airstrike right now? Ephraim. <laughs> Indeed an Ephraim. Oh, here we go, yeah. <laughs> oh, but be careful with that. Finish it with the Ephraim. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what will happen with the uh, bridge if that connects, but... And that's it for the bridge and for Metal Man's team. Komori getting the win on the first map. And yeah. Pretty good match so far. We've seen some good scenes. And we're going to the second map, which will be Frost Fight. Yep. And we are back for map two. Frost Fight with the following lineups. A Metal Man pulling his couple. And an odd space, pick two and four, but maybe he has something in mind there. Well, Kamori's just going complete. Um, yeah, explosive. Going for f yeah, uh, full offensive. And he's also getting the first turn, so he has the opportunity to get uh, at least one of the uh, guided missiles that is placed on the uh, hills. Always a big target for this map. There you go. It's first time as well. Good, good. Yeah, it straight up goes for it. He has his targets cut out for him, though. Changes the angle as well to just make sure he will 
Oh, yeah. It's to get a bit lower there, but it will take some time away. So we can just hope he can manage with the ping, with this thing. Mm. And just goes for the thing, the guy he sees first, which is the scout. Definitely not the best target, but I'm assuming he just is fine with anything that hits right now. Well, guy the missiles, what, guaranteed 70, I think? It's a, Did yeah, get it a direct hit. He got a 59, he got a 59, but uh, I think he was, again, just fine with getting something hit there. And instead of getting complete miss due to the uh, delay he has. And so the uh, the guided missile is um, the re the weapon that Revan ruined me with in the first in my first group league uh -huh. uh, on uh, Square or no no the one the um, the, uh, the one that's like a maze. Uh, he sent like three of my pigs into a an area where I had to swim to get out of, and <laughs> I failed mm -hmm. each time. Okay. Some uh, legacy. Well, it, um... Gameplay then. Uh, gets the mine. Another jetpack and the cluster grenades on top here. So, fully kidding this guy. And that's a sight. Uh, Para getting a cluster grenade on a grenadier. But does not get mm. the good damage at all. Might be a 60 if it comes, comes uh, gets to it. But he has two zappers who can take care of this guy before his turn. So nothing big to worry about. However, okay, one zapper is going to sleep. So maybe it's just got one. Oh yeah, on 70. Yeah, take a big oh. chunk out of the uh, grenadier. Maybe he gets this right. Sets him up for the water damage, I'm assuming. Yeah, I think he's going for the middle. Up. It's a hard one. Doesn't get the full range, which makes sense. You don't. If the full explosion range would put him onto the island. Uh, that's still a bit... Oh, gets a lucky oh, spin, though. Oh, lucky spin, yeah. Not lucky for Metal Man. Yeah, definitely unlucky for Metal Man. So, that's it for Grenadier. So, another showcase of why you really don't want to put those guys in the last spot. Or second to last, in this case. Oh, and are you sure this can bounce off really easily? Um, yeah, not the greatest poison, Middlemas. I mean, understandably losing focus a bit. It's There's nothing for him to gain here anymore. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, it's looking pretty grim with the first turns as well. No Grenadier you can use, so... But maybe yes. He has a plan for his comeback. I mean, how well uh, Kamori's first turn went. He was immediately... Uh, Melman was immediately on the back foot. Pretty much, and does not get the good shrapnel here. Near 23. Let's see which guy Kamori will focus next. Medic is still body blocked, so we will up for the sapper for now. And then comes the second guy with missile. Yeah, probably should focus that power up there. He's still kitted with um, mines and. An extra jetpack and wow, it's right in between those two guys. Uh, 
and also did a good chunk of water damage to the step right there. This Pura taking a big slide there and picking up the mines from the remains. Definitely want to make use of those. Now let's see how Komori, Komori will retaliate. Yeah, going for the power on the mountain. Oh my, yeah. and you can... Yeah. It's just paying for him. He really cannot do anything about that. Maybe that's just something you need to... I don't know, you can manually get some software that emulates input delay, I guess. And try to get used to that. But, um, yeah. Most of the other stuff works fine in Ox, even with input delay, but that thing is just one of the few weapons that you need. Why would I don't inputs. agree with this move? Because uh, that's the parry that just went, so that's at least like three, four turns before that's going to be a skip turn. Yeah, well. Definitely gets him the longest body block, if you think about it, but. I don't think Komori minds blowing his this uh, yeah this pair up since he's out of um, the guided missiles now. Mm -hmm. But it also feels like this game has turned a bit into more of a casual experience now after the first map. Oh, and gets a it's there, yeah, nine, close to fifty, and. It wasn't an easy throw there either, so good job there. Now, uh, Metal Man seemingly getting to work on that poison. He could make of the, make use of that slide there, but just goes directly for the sapper. Right, bit of an odd take here. I mean, to be fair, Metal Man's lineup for this map is pretty odd, so... Uh, you can understand both guys being a bit confused on who to target first. It's not that easy to make out. But Kamori gets the kill on this sapper now, making it a 3 versus five, uh, 4 for... Metal Man. Now be careful here. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was wondering when the slipperies would get. It's a very narrow section, but he can use another jetpack very fine. It's just there's another one here anyway. In a belief, a uh, rocket launcher, right? Yeah, times three actually. So lots of explosions to be had. So the health bar is, you could see, slightly in favor of Kumari right now. Just a bit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> you think about that, if you count in the 50 damage we've just seen. Yeah, it's like a turn behind, isn't it, the bar? Yes. And still, mm -hmm. Kumari needs to keep up his damage output. And this is not an easy shot. I wouldn't even go for this angle, but... He does it perfectly. Gets his... Gets 40 damage and a 3 from 4. Very nice shot there, yeah. So, no healing. Oddly enough. The power is right there for him. Mm. Do this. I was going to say do this after, but... Get the guaranteed skip, but... Yeah, Metal Man a bit out of focus this um, this season. Yes, through um, he has been able to qualify in the first Grand League this year, of course, with this edition. But uh, has come up against some quite hefty opponents, and wasn't quite enough this time around. You don't even need to do that. Just knife him. 
Uh, well, Just he's, for 15 damage. No, he's on. He was on 29. Uh, even, but even in that case, oh, that knife, man. that knife will not do you any good. Uh, if you cannot get anything in and gets one of those teeny tiny spots on the uh, on the water to stand on to get a skip turn, maybe a way back into this this game for him. It needs to deal with that 140 health gunner though. Yeah, this guy is stacked with weapons, so he definitely has the opportunity for it. Now also makes use of his uh, jetpacks, so... And extra water damage, not too shabby. And this looks good to me. Down to 50. Uh, but gets unlucky with the pellets, yeah. Uh, 50 is a clean kill with a rock launcher, so good enough for him. And uh, you could also uh, rifle burst him into the. And now Metaman's suddenly realizing he has the ability to heal with this medic. And Get some good damage on this para. Yes. Oh, I'm or not? Not quite sure. He, I think he's, uh, he's betting on the water damage, but it would have needed to be a very lucky spin. So turn. This guy gets to live another day, but maybe just four head jumps can take care of him, and that's not a skip. I've tried. <laughs> there is a skip here, but it's uh, it's not really worth it. I would say. Especially since there's no crates up there anyway, uh, left there. But maybe for taking cover, yeah, you can do that. And that will be a long slide. Yes, yeah, slide's gonna rob him of any real. Oh, and a no scope flamethrower? Ah, oh, mm. doesn't quite get him. So there's the rocket launcher. That would have been nice some turns ago. And oh no! Ah, it's a bad decision there. Loses 30 HP just by that. Okay. However, Too close again. Yeah, that's a very fast poison there. Okay, the health bar has swung around, but now this guy's gonna dump all his jetpacks probably. Most likely. But not into the medic. No. But to this guy. Going to the 68 health uh, para. Yeah. I can say he could have done uh, a scoop. Might have ended up in the water. Gets the body block, but some self damage. damage. And he's still alive. So he gets to use his weapons for another turn. However, both of his uh, the top enemies are body blocked. So he can't really deal too much damage this turn around. So good on Komori for realizing that. However, the rifle burst could have helped him. But... He just gets rid of the... Yeah. Just takes care of the sapper now. Has gone on 115 health. He is pretty healthy, and that's also not a skip. He needs to get onto the other side that he is getting the mines at least. It's good for late game. And there you go. And Ori sets up the heating medicine ball for himself, getting rid of the poison. Okay, it's still quite open about who's gonna take this game. Like, I am not sure. 
gets a full 45 from the rifle burst here. Now let's see what's in that box. There's a lot of boxes spawning in, even in late game in this uh, this matchup, this map. Self heal. And yeah, so if I would be Metal Man, I would be wary of that uh, poison game because both pigs from Komori now have a tool to get rid of that, especially on the para. That was quite a long swim. So... Let's see. It's the rocket launcher again. You have to ask yourself though... That really is gonna work out. That is probably another jetpack. And just gets a safe 40 on the uh, gunner right now. Coming to play. All of the uh, weapons that have been picked up will become useful now. Oh, interesting choice. Yeah, it's a hard shot. A waste on a five health, really? Yeah, but if he doesn't quite get it, maybe the pellets can help him out, but not with that shooting nope, distance. It's a wet mortar. Yeah, it gets absolutely nothing out of this. This guy's still still strong. Still keeping on. But yeah, it will be tough for this guy to maneuver and Metal Man just opts for the uh, backwards walking strategy. Which is a tad faster than stumbling across the map with below 10 HP. But no, he will not have enough time. Opts for the uh, bazooka and doesn't even get the shot off. That is a big mistake and will lead to a double kill here. It will only leave the uh, para, uh, the uh, medic from Metal Man alive. It's still pretty healthy, but it's gonna go up against yeah. two fairly healthy guys. The Gunner is down to 55, I believe, but they also have like healing tools for themselves. So let's see how this end game will go. Batman can now make use of body blocks, of course. I'll just go straight up for damage. Yes. And attempt a uh, kill zone, maybe. Oh, I'm not quite sure. No. The map border is right before that slippery turret, so it should be fine. And off to the healing ants. Yeah. It's just gonna say. Shouldn't forget about those. 57 and 55 versus 111. Yeah, however, he does have the mines. I'm not quite sure how you could use them, though. If you're gonna go for a mortar anyway. Oh, it just goes for a You're gonna shoot him into the mine, yeah. Do some extra damage that way. Hmm. Oh no, don't hit the shoes. That was very close to hitting the bottom. 40 damage. <sighs> it's tough. He needs five head jumps on this guy in a. Oh, but doesn't take his time for that. Maybe, yeah, also three head jumps on this guy. Oh no, seven. Never mind then. See, we can take the. Oh, that's good. Uh, mm. I was gonna say that's probably not a possible. Yeah, that's that's the wrong way around. Like he should body block the gunner in that case. Um, but just goes for a shot here and. That's it, because it's the Paris turn next. Yeah, and that kind of gets the win for Komori on default. He just needs two forties or like two good hits, and Komori will take the win away. Let's see how this one goes. No stress at all. Might be a bit overshot. Doesn't get the full 40, but 
Still mm. enough for you. I will say both maps have been closer than I expected. Yeah, they've been pretty yeah. close. I mean, Metal Man's, of course, a good player. And, um... Yeah, but he has admitted on several occasions that he hasn't really been practicing this year. Oh, is he still going for a draw? Does he have a rocket launcher left? I don't feel so, right? I don't think so. He had two and he used both. So... Gets the kill by the jumps. And let's see where this guy's going. Oh, terrible range from that grenade launcher again. I felt like that could have been at least 10 damage or something, but game disagrees. So now it's just take it. Yeah, Bazook wins the game. I yeah. Hit with a Bazook. And that's perfectly on the dot. And gives Komori his third win with no maps lost. <laughs> Which means that for the second game in a row that I've been involved with, uh, the grenade launcher doing no damage <laughs> has led to... <laughs> yeah, I mean, he still already had the lead without the grenade launcher, I know, I know. but um, it is it is a, it's a strong coincidence, yeah. So that way Komori directly qualifies for the semifinals if the other guys don't have anything to say about it, right? The other guys also need to have six um, clean wins and no, gonna say, no maps Kamari's lost. Kamari's got... Uh, has won every match he's been in, I think. Yeah, it's... Um, and I believe that... Um, Forbesy... Yeah, it's, it's down to Forbesy and Pekis. Uh, if Forbesy can take 2-0 two, uh, two and uh, on the other side, of course, uh, Mephisto taking a... 2-0 overall. So, yeah. If you haven't watched those matches, you can check them out. They should have been already uploaded. So, yeah. We have one more recording to go. Then we're done for the group phase. And we're going to head into the uh, finals. Yep. So, uh, yeah. That's it for today. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And uh, see you next time.